one of my subscribers asked me to talk about um, this radio here. Now this is the European model called the DP3600, but I believe the North American model number for this is XPR6550. And he wanted to know whether this would be a good first radio for someone looking to get into DMR. So I've got a bunch of radios here that you could get as your first radio for DMR. The first one is the DP3400, which doesn't have a display. And I wouldn't really recommend getting this one because it's very useful to have a display and you can only program 32 channels into this one in total. So let's discount that one straight away. So we've got three radios left. Now, this is the TYT MD380, but let's just say this is the MD380 or the MD390 because they're both virtually the same, except one of them's waterproof, and this one here, the MD380, is not. So we've got the DP3600 or XPR6550, the MD380, and the DP4800 or XPR7550. So out of these three radios, which one would be the best for a beginner? Now, it really does depend on how much money you've got to spend and what you want to be able to do with the radio. If you want to be able to use Capacity Plus systems as well, like if you're interested in scanning, then you would have to get either of the Motorola radios. If you're not bothered about Capacity Plus systems, which is probably most people watching this, then you can get any of them. And in that case, I'd actually recommend that you get the TYT MD390, which is the waterproof version of this radio. Now, the reasons that I recommend that is because, firstly, it's cheaper than getting either of the Motorola radios. To get it new is much cheaper than either of these. Secondly, the programming software is free, whereas the Motorola programming software is quite expensive. And finally, the programming cable is also a lot cheaper for this radio than it is for either of these. These two both can use the same programming cable. They both have the same connector on the side, although a later version of the programming cable was released with this series of radios because this series is newer than this one. And you can't program this radio with the old programming cable that that was for use with this radio. However, you can program both of them with the new cable. Now, that is considering that you might have a budget on the lower end, then you might want to buy the MD390. If you have plenty of money to spend on a radio and want to get a really good quality radio, then I actually recommend this radio here, which is the DP4800 in Europe or the XPR7550 in America and there are a few reasons why I recommend this model over the MD380 or the DP3600 or XPR6550 because it's newer than this one I'll compare it to this one first and ignore the MD380 for a minute because it's newer than this one it actually has better audio much much better audio in fact and it has a few fixes that were problems in this radio. Like the channel selector in this radio, after a while it kind of wears out and sometimes the channel skips around randomly between the channel you're on and the one that's either side of it on the channel selector knob. This radio doesn't have that problem at all. And actually this radio has no numbers on the channel selector as you can see there, it just has dots. And it relies on the screen to show you what channel you're on. But it also means you can have more than 16 channels in one zone. So if you want to put like 30 channels, 40 channels in a zone, you can do that on this radio. On this radio, you are limited to 16 channels only in a zone. Now, although this radio does have some things about it that are better, such as the audio and a few small fixes. It also has some, well, one thing about it that is worse 
that I don't like and that's the antenna connector because they actually used a standardized antenna connector on this radio which meant that you could buy your own antennas or connect it up to your own external antennas however on this one they used a proprietary connector which means you can't use your own antennas with this radio and you can't plug in any external antennas either unless you buy a very expensive adapter from Motorola that I've never actually seen for sale I've only heard about it online so to put it simply if you buy this radio just assume you can't buy any non Motorola antenna for it but if you buy this one then you can connect it to external antennas so now let's compare this radio the DP4800 or XPR 7550 to the TYT MD380 or 390 now in terms of price the Motorola is obviously a lot more expensive but it also does have more features than this radio including things like transmit interrupt uh, which the the other one over here also has which means that you can hold your well it depends how you set it up but if you set it up in this way you can hold your button down while someone else is talking and interrupt them so this is this is useful in emergencies and things like that or if someone is accidentally sitting on their push to talk button you can you can do that and stop them it also has things like MDC which is that chirp that sends the ID across on analog that the police and fire services and things like that in the USA sometimes use and it is in general just a more reliable radio because Motorola have been around for a long time and have been producing radios for a very long time whereas TYT have not been around for that long and the Chinese radio manufacturers don't have a very good quality control record I also find that both of these Motorola radios outperform the, the MD380 in terms of RF performance so if you were let's say in the fringe areas of a repeater and still wanted to be able to use it then you would be more likely to be able to use it with either of these radios than you would on the TYT so to summarize this video if you're looking to buy a new DMR radio for a first time DMR user then if you're on a lower budget I'd suggest the MD380 or MD390 if you want it waterproof and if you have plenty of money then I would suggest the DP4800 or XPR7550 in the US so let me do a quick demonstration of the audio on the two Motorola radios I'm going to show you the older one first so you can see the problem that it has with audio and I'm going to be talking on the TYT but it doesn't really matter what radio you're talking on um, so if you have someone talking really loud into the microphone then on this radio it sounds really bad and it's really not nice at all to listen to so let's see how that sounds test one two three one two three test okay so just now I was talking on purpose very close to the microphone to show you that and it is quite a common thing that does happen all over DMR so you can expect to come across quite a few people talking like that now I'm gonna be listening on this radio instead and I'm gonna turn this one down and I'm gonna do the same thing so I'm gonna talk very close to the microphone again on TYT but this time you should hear that it doesn't sound anywhere near as bad as it does on the older Motorola radio test one two three one two three test one two three test one two three one two three test so hopefully you could see the audio problem being demonstrated relatively clearly there and that is the end of this video thanks for watching